Are you ready? Here we go. There's, there is no way I'm going in. I'm in. I didn't I'm think in. she was going to do it. You've already lied to me once, so why? The police all pulled in, and she lied about her name, and she lied to who she was, and I'm listening to all this while I'm trying to go to this tranquil garden. It's nothing. Yeah, we're professionals. We live around Portland. <laughs> So do you work out? Welcome back, Ramblers, and to those who are joining us for the first time, hit the bell icon to be notified to follow this series of videos we have coming up. In other series, we've flown over to Hawaii and explored the Big Island from Kona to Hilo and up to Mauna Kea. On our biggest RV trip ever, we traveled from Washington down to Lake Tahoe in California, Nevada, and back up through Oregon, staying at farms, wineries, casinos, and RV campgrounds. Off of the heels from that, we took a break from the RV and hopped on a boat to Alaska. That six-part series went from Vancouver Island and British Columbia along the Inside Passage to Juneau, Ketchikan, Skagway, and beautiful Glacier Bay. For the next series of videos coming up, we are inspired to travel to central Washington state to visit some of the most magnificent landscapes in the world. As featured in the Netflix series Ancient Apocalypse, Graham Hancock and guest Randall Carlson discuss the catastrophic events that flooded eastern Washington and all of North America by destroying millions of square miles of ice sheets that created some of the greatest breathtaking views and fertile landscapes for farming. Which will bring us to our first stop on the tour, Zilla, Washington, home to orchards, vineyards, and more than 20 wineries. So we made it. We made it to Bonaire Winery. We're always the unique ones. So uh, we were the first people, she said, to ever drive through the gate, which I questioned because I saw the parking lot. Oh, I felt like I was home. <laughs> Like a we felt we felt home. We felt like we were supposed to drive through the estate. We're supposed to be here, but this is where everybody's parking. So before you enter the gate, everybody parks in this area here. So if we would have seen other RVs, we would have known, but we didn't. So we drove on in because we thought we were home, and we are home for the night. Uh, it was very nice. We were welcomed very nicely, even though we were the first people to ever pull in. Luckily, Ron can back this baby out. Here's the parking lot for everybody who's here to visit the winery. Um, but this grass area is for the RVs. I think they say they can fit like five or six of them here. Um, and then if you're lucky enough, you get a view of Mount Rainier. And Mount Rainier, what's the other mountain? Mount Adams maybe? Mount Rainier, Mount Adams. But anyway, so this is the area. We're right next to the beautiful vineyard. When we're ready, we're just gonna walk up there and go have some wine. All right, let's do a little wine in here. I put my face on. So far, quite adorable. I, this is beautiful. I love how, look at this, this is so cute. 
It's like a Spanish mission style, yeah. like a southwestern thing going on. Real nice. Oh, and then look at the little signs. This is for the cabaret. The, uh, but there's cabernet. no cabaret here. Sorry, cabernet. That's a cabernet. <laughs> cabernet. This is Cabarets inside. We're talking about Mount Rainier and Mount Adams. So, yeah, Mount Adams is over there through the haze. Mount Rainier is off in the distance. It won't be visible on the uh, on the video. Bit. We get, can't get the motorhome through this one. No. <laughs> you need a running start. Here's how it works. Ten dollars for any five wines, whatever you'd like to try. Let's do it. Yay. Let's do it. We'll leave it up to the professional. Oh, I'm not a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I just love wine. <laughs> Five acres of dirt. Now is that where? That's where you're right, we're right standing, now. right? So to save the marriage, uh, <laughs> we designed and built that. We had the house framed and the plumbing put in, but the rest we did. Then he said, "Oh, wouldn't it be fun to have a little vineyard?" So here we are planting, and it's probably 30 degrees, and the wind is howling, and I've got like five layers of down on. And you're digger. putting the post in. And we're putting the post a post hole digger. So then, oh, why don't we have a little winery? Oh, that sounds like fun. We did that. And then I think we opened the winery. You can see. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And I love that picture. That's my favorite. What did you call the little building? It's like a little mission Chapel. style. Uh... Chapel. Yeah. yeah. So that is our, so this is kind of Euro. That's our tribute to Italy. So the back roads of Italy, uh, all the little roads have chapels beside oh. them. And there's a Rosetta window in there, so that's... Back in the olden days, olden oh, days. Oh, look at this. <laughs> this is so days, great. People would take a bottle of our wine. This is before oh, cell phones. And send and, a photo where they send were... send a photo. Oh, I love it. All over the world. Is oh, that wow. crazy? Oh, I love it. How this got started in 1989, Gail took a bottle to Russia. He was invited to go because he could read Cyrillic. So we went there and took a picture in oh, front of Lennon's wow. tomb. With the, with the bottle of wine. With the bottle of wine. <laughs> wow. We got some wine. Wow, you do. We got some wine in You went day. with three bottles. I did. Actually, I every single one we tried, I could have left with 10 bottles. It was fantastic and to be that lucky to be that blessed to be able to sit with the owner and Spend time with her listen to amazing stories all of her travels. I could have done that all night long But I know I she know. wants to get home. Yeah, she wants she to get home people. So we are the only people staying here So very very lucky we got one-on-one -on -one time with Shirley. Yeah that was, the CEO that was and wine goddess quite neat. So her and her husband met in college and her husband Gail both had never been anywhere and they heard about this um, scholarship to go to Chile like their junior year and they gave it to both of them and they sent both of them off uh, to Chile and it was adorable because when Ron went to try one of the wines was it the Malbec? It was the Malbec she goes this is the wine that started it all that was the first I think the time they drank wine is when they went to a, a winery and was it Chile? Chile yep. yeah they had the uh, the Malbec little inebriated that night <laughs> and they fell in love they fell in love over that first bottle of Malbec yeah you know and yeah. so they've been attached to the hip ever since yeah so tonight we did test out 10 different wines tonight we tried uh at least I think at least 10 different wines tonight so you did to test I did a taste but you did a test <laughs> we did a taste <laughs> and we did some wine tasting and it was really nice and I loved every one of them and that's rare for yeah. me and it was really tough deciding and luckily they opened up at 10 a.m so we're like you know what let's just get these three bottles right now and then we'll talk in the morning so we're gonna keep enjoying our wine here and then we're gonna take a walk around the vineyard tonight she told us about a nice little canal you can walk along uh they have a cute little duck pond so we're just gonna walk around yeah, this area we and a little fly too and yeah put the drone up around show you what this uh what we have here at this winery Good 
morning. <laughs> Good morning. You got your you got your coffee. So Ron gives me a sippy cup for my coffee. But see right there, there's the Mount. Yeah, Mount Rainier. Rainier and there's yeah, Mount Adams. Mount Adams. And we're getting ready to go. So we're gonna go pop in real quick and we're gonna say goodbye. And we're gonna grab some books because they do this really neat community thing where they collect uh, they sell books for a dollar each and then the funds go. Um, yeah, Shirley was saying that they, they shut down the county library earlier on. I can't remember, I can't recall if it was the county library was shut down completely or if it's just in need of repair, but they made a, a little community library of their own and do donations and then they give that back to the community. There you are. How's it going? <laughs> hey, good morning. How are you doing? Got a few travel books from the library here at Bone Air Winery. Making some more travel plans. Yep. We said goodbye to Shirley and Kevin. Kevin makes fantastic wines. Uh, shout yeah. out to Kevin because uh, you need to come through here. I loved every single one of those wines. Every one of them. I mean, and that's not normal for me, really, honestly. <laughs> I usually don't like reds, and, um, you know, I like dessert wines, table wines. Uh, but every single one. We ended up buying three bottles and I want more. I and they're all they're all sweet wines, except for the one, uh, I think it was a Chardonnay, but uh, yeah. yeah. But anyway, uh, wonderful to say hi to them. And then they went over our, our next two weeks of adventures. They gave us a lot of ideas, uh, where to stop, where to go, what not to miss. So we appreciate all the tips. And, uh, but this is a great winery. This was a great stay. It's wonderful for Harvest Host, very easy. Lots of space, lots of room. Uh, there's no negatives whatsoever. So um, if you are a Harvest Host member, make sure to take a look. If you're coming through this area, Bonaire, winery, vineyards, this place is beautiful. So I would uh, definitely hit this place up for a place to stay. And we have all the links below for anybody who's a Harvest Host. We're gonna load up the RV and we're just gonna head an hour from here. We're gonna head an hour from Zilla to um, Ellensburg, cute little town, has a little bit of a history to it. And we just were thinking of another little town to spend some time in uh, while we explore more of the central Washington area. So we're heading to just a KOA in Ellensburg. All right, let's get let's rambling. Click subscribe and the bell icon to be notified and to become a rambler to follow us on our trip around Central Washington State.